According to the FBI, the American people are now about to experience the greatest terror threat in decades here in the United States. And it's because of what is going on, not here in the US, but abroad. That is scary because there's not a lot that we can do about it here. Even President Biden stated himself, there's not much that he can do, but people continue to protest. They're protesting in streets and in churches. Even today, as President Biden spoke in front of people in Charleston, there were protesters right inside the church. And we'll play some of that video in just a moment. All I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds. Go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So according to experts, we are going to experience the greatest threats in US history. And this is coming in 2024. All because everything is now coming to a point. What we are now facing is we have a war between Russia and Ukraine. We have a war between Israel and Hamas happening in Gaza, which is taking the lives of tens of thousands of Palestinians. And now there's pro-Palestinian protests. This is exactly what we're seeing, for instance, in Seattle. Okay, In Seattle, this happened. Protesters calling for a ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war. And they blocked the streets of Seattle. This backed up traffic for a couple of hours. Yeah, it slowed people down. Well, look at this. Gaza protesters block New York bridges and tunnel. This happened just today. We are seeing this all over the place. This is gonna to continue to happen. And let me show you some pictures here. Look at this. This is in downtown Seattle. Look, you can see it right here. Right here, you see all the people, protesters right here. All the traffic is backed up. People actually had to turn around. They had to flip their cars around and go the other direction in order to get out of this. But there wasn't much anybody could do. Well, this is happening all over the place and this is why the, the FBI uh, director, Christopher Ray, he says that Hamas could inspire attacks in the US. And this is why the FBI is conducting multiple ongoing investigations into people affiliated with the terrorist group. Well, here's the problem. We have had open borders for quite a while, okay, for quite a while. And this is what is so concerning about everything that's going on is that things are not going to change. It's not going to change overnight. These issues are going to keep happening. Well, look at this. And I want to show you this because this was uh, just came out. This is breaking news as of uh, about 10 minutes ago. It says driver in custody after crashing into White House gates. The crash occurred just before 6 p.m. Eastern time. A spokesperson for the Secret Service wrote on X. This is troubling because now Again, I haven't read all the details into that, but the concern is that this is not going to get better. Okay, this is not going to get better. Now, I want to play you something. This is where pro-Palestinian protesters interrupt Joe, uh, President Biden's speech in Charleston. Okay, I want to play you this. Okay? There's no light. Without Listen. light, there's no path from this darkness. Did you really care about the light? Here they go. They're calling for a ceasefire. Ceasefire now. Right. That's, all. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. So I'm going to go and pause that for a second. I'm going to skip forward a little bit because all they're doing, President Biden is just standing there as they're yelling ceasefire now. And that's really all that's happening. Now, eventually, you know, people come and try to escort them out. This is what's happening here. Trying to get them to come out. And again, this is not the whole the whole church. This is just a, a handful of people. But that is also what the FBI is concerned with, is that this is something that we are worried about, is it's not going to be hundreds of thousands of people protesting. It's not going to be hundreds of thousands of people causing a, a severe terror threat to the United States. It's potentially just going to be one person, two. It's not going to be a lot of people. Now, I'm going to skip forward a little bit and President Biden's gonna uh, talk in just a second, but four more years. All these people are chanting four more years. Now, in case you're wondering what that means, that's another presidency, the second term. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look, folks. I understand their. I understand their passion, and I've been quietly working. I've been quietly working with the Israeli government to get them to reduce and significantly get out of Gaza, I'm using all that I can to do. That. So we're going to stop right there. There's only about eight more seconds left of that clip, but he says that he's working with the, the Israeli government to hopefully do all that they can, and he's doing all he can to ensure that they can, for one, protect the, the lives of the innocents, right? the civilians of Gaza. What we did hear earlier on today is that the leader of Hamas, or one of the leaders, is uh, they know his location. The problem is he's protecting himself with dozens of hostages. And that's the reason why the Israeli government can't go in, or the, the IDF can't go in and uh, pretty much take him out, because they're going to take out the li uh, hurt people that are innocent, hostages. So here, here's the problem moving forward. Right now, according to the FBI, things are going to get, could get worse. This is also one of the reasons why uh, recently, or actually just today, we learned that as of right now, there is a good chance that the federal government is not going to close down. There is a good chance that this bill, which is, they put together a bipartisan bill, there's support behind it, and this is going to be $1.66 trillion for fiscal year 2024, which means many of these agencies are actually going to see an increase to their funding. And the FBI, I believe, is going to be one of those. We're still waiting on the details on all that. But if the FBI and security here to ensure that our, our pretty much you know, homeland is secure, we need additional funding there. Uh, we need additional funding for the border. So a lot of these things are now starting to come out. So the good news is that hopefully we will be safe. But again, the concern is it only takes one. It only takes one person, okay? One person to really make an impact. Good thing we didn't see that during, uh, you know, Christmas. Good thing we didn't see that during uh, the New Year's Eve celebrations. But again, the threats are there. And that's what I want you to understand is moving forward as we get closer to this, this uh, election, as we get closer to the end of 2024 and beginning 2025, we don't we don't know what the struggles are going to be is it going to be financial is it going to be something else here in the u.s we don't know but what we know as of right now is the fbi uh homeland security everyone is saying that the threat level right now is the highest it has been in decades it's the highest it has been since isis so let that sink in this is the greatest threat we are facing right now in the united states and it's actually because of stuff that's going on in another country. So as we get more information on all this stuff, I promise I'll fill you in on all the latest news and updates. All I ask again is one thing. Make sure you go and hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And I will see you guys on the next one.